as an excitable 11 year old walking into Mr. Armstrong's classroom, I had no idea what kind of journey I was about to embark on. It was Plukes. Without so much as a moment's hesitation, he squared his shoulders, raised one hand, palm facing outward, and spoke a single forceful word in Pig Latin, Opste. Every grade six student in Clara's home, Alberta, that had Dave Armstrong, or Mr. A, as a teacher, witnessed two fictional characters, Nikki Neal Carpenter and Plukes, being brought to life. My brother and I came up with this idea. Uh, it's been 35 years ago now. Uh, about writing a story about a kid by the name of Nicky Neal Carpenter whose father goes missing in the jungles of Mexico and Nicky Neal decides he's got to go find him. He can't let his mother go down there. So he chooses to take a kid by the name of Plukes with him. And Plukes is 13 years old and is kind of a social misfit. He picks his nose, wets his pants, sucks his thumb and has flunked grade six twice. And before he can flunk it a third time, his dad decides he's going to send him off to a school where he's going to get some training. Nicky Neal goes to the bus station and tells Plukes, you got to come with me, we're going to go find my dad. Plukes is befuddled, doesn't really know what else to do, so he follows Nicky Neal out of the bus station. They jump onto the side of the road and take off hitchhiking. And from that point forward, they have a series of adventures involving adults, some not so nice, some very helpful. They meet a hobo who helps them jump a freight train, gets them down into Texas. They, um, once there, they are kidnapped and delivered to a place called the Armadillo Ranch Camp where they're held as prisoners for a couple of weeks. Once they escape there, they get into Mexico. And the journey takes them all the way down into the small village of Palenque where they find uh, some evidence of their dad has been through there and then they go deeper into the Lacandone Forest where uh, they make contact with a tribe of uh, Mayans living as the Mayans did 500 years ago. Armstrong, who goes by the pen name Mo Arm Finnegan and his brother Neil, wrote the Adventures with Pluke series taking turns editing and writing. I started writing the book and my brother looked and said, boy that looks like fun because to be honest, the Nicky Neal character was my brother, or is my brother. As a kid, I looked up to him and he was always having all kinds of adventures and I thought, if I can't write a story about the things he did as a kid, there's something wrong with me. So I started writing it, he saw it and he said, man, I'd like to get in on that. And I said, great, because he has got a great imagination. So that night we went to bed and he woke up in the morning, he said, I've got it. I've got what happens to Plukes. I said, what? He said, well, I had a dream last night he was king of an ancient Mayan tribe and dressed in the headdress and the whole Mayan garb. And I said, really? He goes, yeah. So we sat down at the table and we said, we've got to get these kids from this small town in Oklahoma where they take off from through Texas into Mexico. How do we do it? Not knowing how successful the book would be, the writer and teacher read the book to each class he taught throughout his years of educating. One of the reasons we wrote it in the first place was I wanted something to read that kids would be really glue into and and listen carefully whether it was the smartest kid in the room or a kid that struggled this was something we could all share together and as it turned out it was like a journey we went on we would start it every year in September and wouldn't finish the third book until maybe sometimes achievement tests in June so it was really special watching that and like in the first book we dedicate it to the kids of Claire's home because without that feedback and without that support this series dies but because the kids loved it year after year and then I would run into kids I taught 15 or 20 years previously and they would say hey Mr. Dre, you get that Plukes book published yet? The book became a family affair. Armstrong's nephew does all of the illustrations and covers for the Plukes series. The brothers were granted creative freedom after making the decision to self-publish their books, which means promoting the books themselves. The author says the ability to share Plukes' story on his own terms is one of his favorite aspects of the experience. The advantage of writing a kid's book is you can go into schools and when you read to school, uh, read to kids in a school, you've got your audience in front of you that you're trying to get the book out to. Kids can hear it and they can, you know, go to the library, get a copy, buy a copy, whatever they want to do. One of the brothers' favorite accolades was to win the Golden Eagle Book Award for the 2011-2012 year. For Go, I'm Fallon Wagner. Scream ruptured the tension. Yo, 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 yo. The scream was immediately followed by a...